Hey, I'm Nick Valesky with the USU Extension Integrated Pest Management Program, and I want to share with you guys some information about flea beetles and what they can do to our vegetable crops. There are many species of flea beetles. Most adults are small, dark colored, sometimes shiny or metallic, and they jump quickly when disturbed. Flea beetles attack foliage of brassica, solanaceae crops, and some root crops, including potato tubers. Young vegetable seedlings are most sensitive to adult feeding injury, which often appears as small shot holes and pitting in leaves and cotyledons. Key management practices include early monitoring for injury and using row covers, trap crops, mulches, sanitations, and timely insecticide applications. The high mobility of flea beetles can make management more challenging. Understanding their biology and life cycle will help identify effective strategies and optimal timing to reduce their negative impacts. When management of flea beetles is warranted, a combination of cultural, physical, biological, and chemical options should be used. To monitor, scout the plants. It's important to look for flea beetles on susceptible plants, especially in the springtime. Use sticky traps. Sticky traps are a monitoring tool that help provide a guideline of when beetles are most present and at what quantity. Sanitation. Adults overwinter under soil clods and plant debris. Therefore, a good sanitation practices are important to reduce overwintering flea beetle populations. So at the end of the season, remove or destroy the refuge sites by plowing or rotating the crop residues and the weeds in the fall. Row covers are white, lightweight fabrics made of spun-bound polyester or polypropylene. They are permeable to light, water, and air. Row covers are used to cover the plants and create a physical barriers against insect pests like flea beetles. Although foliar application of, on, of insecticides is the most common management tactic for flea beetles, insecticides should only be used if necessary since plants produce continuous new growth and the highly mobile insects can rapidly reinvade planting, insecticides have to be applied more than once to cover the plant's susceptible period. For homeowners, examples of insecticides include products that contain carbaryl, bifrethrin, cyfluthrin, permethrins, pyrethrins, and spinosad. Another way to monitor for flea beetles is to take a blank white sheet of paper Hold it underneath the foliage and gently shake the plant. This will allow you to see flea beetles or any other sort of pests that fall down. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions on what we just talked about, feel free to contact me or check out our website at utahpest.usu.edu.